reporting for Tennis.com from the Longines Future Aces event. I'm Chris Marr with 93 French Open doubles champion. No years, please. Don't mention the French <laughs> Open doubles champion. And current Syracuse tennis coach, Luke Jensen. Luke, this is a great event. And what is it that makes it so special in your eyes? Well, I think number one for the kids, it gives them an opportunity to play for more than just trophies. I mean, the chance to go to Paris and represent your country against other countries around the world. We're such an international game now at every single level. Our Grand Slams show it. And the kids today aren't just talented on the tennis court. Their essays and how did they even got here show that they're also very special in the classroom. These are, these are kids that are going to have an impact through the game of tennis for years to come. Along those lines, so much of your tennis career was marked by traveling around the world, giving seminars and doing charity work in addition to playing. What does that mean to you that entry into this event is as contingent upon charity efforts and community service as it is upon tennis ability? I think it really speaks to the fact what the a tennis magazine is doing, Longines is doing, to try to build the human being rather than the tennis player. Uh, tennis is just a small part of what they're doing. But overall, through the game, game of tennis, you can see so many parts of the world. You can meet so many different cultures and people. And I think when you look at an event like this, we're demanding more from our kids than just good play, good sportsmanship. You know, we want them to think bigger than the game of tennis. And I think that is what really our sponsors and what this event, what the USTA is really all about, building the next generation of champions. What does it say about the evolution of tennis and youth tennis where these kids are so conscious of that at 10, 11, 12 years old. Well, to be honest, I really think it's technology. You know, you got that book face and you got that, you know, all the internet and the tweets and, you know, I know it's Facebook, but, you know, I'm old enough or I mess it up all the time. They're so smart and they really have um, an independent way about them. And I'm talking about the younger generation. They understand technology at a much younger age and they're evolving with it. And that means they're more independent. They're very good with problem solving, not only technology, but problem solving in situations that are against them. When they're down, you see them out there while they're competing. I see people looking for opportunities to, to win, where they can find strengths and weaknesses. I mean, when I was their age, I was really struggling with a wood racket trying to, you know, which grip do I hold and things. They're going cross court, down the line, drop shot, lob, net cord winner, and they're problem solving much better than players when I grew up and when I played. And so I think it's a smarter player and it's a more tenacious player. They're tremendous competitors. And I think by having this type of event that helps them create things with their essays, help them think outside the game of tennis, helps their tennis. And even at age 10, 11, 12, they have an opportunity to play on the famed red clay of Roland Garros. Could you ever foresee that tennis would get to that point when you were a youth player, that they would have an opportunity to travel to the site of a major title and play and compete uh, and and compete yeah. on that yeah. red clay well it, the game is so big now with sponsorship and they're always trying innovative ways to get their their specific message out this is an amazing way for Longines to get that message out that we're a global brand we're a global company and by allowing this kind of tournament to happen at the U.S. Open, at the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center, is a tremendous, in the shadow of Arthur Ashe Stadium, it inspires these kids. It gets them going. Um, for me, it was being a ball kid at a pro event. I know John McEnroe was a ball kid here at the U.S. Open, and there are tons of stories like that where at 10, 11 years old, you were inspired. Longines inspires these kids to think beyond just their little local region, that that is possible to, to compete and practice and dream and win and get a chance to go to Paris. Luke Jensen, it's been a pleasure. Always, always. Man.